dietitian Dr Katrina Campbell joins us from the PA hospital. And Dr Katrina, there's so much information about healthy eating out there. Why are we still getting fat? Well, that's a really good question, Georgie. We often see that people um, know what to do but don't really know how to make the changes in their diet. Um, what we recommend is people try and do just one thing at a time to try and change their habits into a more healthy lifestyle. In the spirit of Healthy Heart Week, what we recommend for clients to do is um, one of the things that can really benefit of their heart is to reduce their salt intake. So we know that there's strong data that links salt intake to heart disease and in particular high blood pressure. A lot of the salt that we do eat in our daily um, life comes from takeaway foods and convenience foods. And so these are things that we can make changes of to really improve our health. OK, so how much salt do we need? And more importantly, how much are we eating? Well, we actually don't need a lot of salt. Um, what we're eating is well above what's recommended. So it's recommended that people have around about six grams of salt or 2.3 grams of sodium in, in a day. What we see clients come into our clinics is, is over 20 grams a day they're eating of salt. Now that actually equates to over three kilograms um, in a year. So that's well above what's recommended for people to have. So what can we do to reduce our salt intake then? Well, it's actually quite straightforward, Georgie. Because salt does come a lot from processed foods, we really need, need to look at the processed foods that we do eat. So things that can be unexpected are things like breads and cereals, um, soups and sauces are really high, um, have high quantities of salt. So when you're going to the supermarket, thinking about the types of food that you prepare, so fresh is best. So preparing your foods from fresh is one of the best things to do. Um, reading the label, so getting to know the foods that you do often eat and trying to identify what a lower sodium alternative would be. The other things are to, to look at the flavourings you use in your foods. So things like vinegar and, and lemon juice, um, garlic and herbs and spices are really quite helpful to reduce salt intake. Okay, some very good advice. Thank you, Dr Katrina, and we'll see you again next week. Thank you, Georgie.